What's going on guys, but do be here and I'm back with some more Resident Evil 3. And we just had an interesting encounter with Nikolai, who was trying to drop Shit. containers and he got away. All sorts on us. And what was he, he doing away. in here? And apparently we can't go back down there. So good job we got everything out of there. We could do with the herb. Just the one. But let's see what's in the back of here first. Oh, so much for a gun. Extended battery for the Magnum. That's going to make it a two slot weapon in it. Oh, it doesn't. Nice. I'll take it back. And we've got everything out of here now. I think there's a button on here. Unfinished activity log. The 26th of October. One o'clock. Infiltrated. Become city disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. 19, 1930. Observed five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. 27th of October. 12. Destronet University diverted PEC, including canines to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. 2300. Success rendezvous with MV Platoon will make first attempt at dawn. 28th of October. 4.30 a.m. Diverted PEC toward command post. Result. Night Sugar Mission confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. 8 a.m. End of skirmish. 7 survivors. 6 p.m. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. 2, 8 o'clock. Got eyes on two stars. A male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. 29th of October, midnight. Female JV has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapons appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N. Investigating. 4 a.m. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. 7 a.m. Metamorphosis on the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with GV. Video attached. JV has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Midnight 30. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to the virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting he may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by CO. Carlos something, a soldier in NV platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with JV causes it to change and deform. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Is that right? Gonna make me have encounters with the beast? Is that what's coming up? Jill! Oh, this guy. Tyrell! I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah! Oh. Lies, They'll call Tyrell. up the strike if. And this is one big ass if. We can deliver the vaccine to them. Before they launch. How long do we have? Hours. Maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Oh, crap. Get the vaccine, go with Tyrell. There's a box here. Check the box. Can't save, but I can check the box. Um, I've got mag, I've got rounds. One herb, mixed herb, green and red. Take it. She's still caution. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like the look of this. It's very Resident Evil the movie. The lights are going to come out of the wall. Sure, you don't need to stop. Just stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. You know, I'm injured too, Tyrell. There is compassion when you go missing. And the pursuer. Oh dear. Oh, he's made of metal. Nothing in here. Can I go through here? Lock. Had IKEA. Safe room. High grade gunpowder. Make more mag ammo. Handgun ammo or shotgun ammo. I think I've got all the requirements for each one. Attention nest to employees. The objectives of this T virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real world use cases which arise as new bio weapons are created and introduced such as the need for T-virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail, in particularly unauthorised entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honour to be part of the finest research organisation in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. And we got the map. Well, all right. Inside by the storage box. Do I need the box? I've got anything there. I've got gunpowder I can make. Shotgun shells. <laughs> That's it. Mm, I probably should because I don't have any shotgun shells. Um, yeah, store that herb a moment. Get away from me. Let's take a look. Alright, come on then. What's this? Isaac Graves' diary. 
The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd become computing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity. Like winning the lottery, so I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. He essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told. For their sake. Let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. That's bad times, man. Bad times. So we're going to head into this big area. Yeah, we'll go in there in a moment. Let's just see if this guy's dead. Are you dead? You said to be in a puddle of blood. You don't look zombified yet. Oh. I heard something like them. Guy, the little bubbly head guy, where is he? Hmm. Just coming this way, and there's a dead body over there, that is most definitely probably a person. Nothing. It's a bit of scenery. There's gotta be something. Uh, the vaccine. SIN vaccine synthesis. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants in vaccine synthesis, Dr. Nathaniel Bard, Chief Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To most efficiently synthesize the vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. But if you didn't make the, the, the virus, then you wouldn't need to make the, uh, the vaccine now, would you? That one looks almost like a man, and they just get gradually. Oh, it's going to be interesting when I get a close up look down there. Are you zombie? No. Zombies? No zombies. I stabbed them and they, they stayed dead. What's this? Override key successfully generated. What have oh. we here? Override key removed. We've got a flash drive, but it's an override. And we have nowhere to put it. Right, where's the nearest box? Because we've got stuff. But if we go through here, back down it. Oh. This is annoying. I blame Carlos. Always I will blame Carlos. He took my hip pouch, mate. 
He didn't care, man. He didn't care. He just took my pouch. Alright, where's the ribbon? Right behind me. Okay. This fight that I was ready for just isn't coming yet, is it? Um. Even me last time I fought him, so I can only believe that they're gonna come in handy and fight him again. Oh, and while I'm at it, let me take a look out here and across to the right to see if there's a little bobblehead bobbling away. No, just gotta be on the other side of that. Right, okay. I can take the flash drive. Is there anything else in here? Yes, the high grade compound, I can take that. Vaccine equipment. And I can use this, and then that should be everything else. To begin there. vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. But I don't have the materials. We'll just drop the flash drive in. Synthesis? Okay. Gotta figure it out, huh? I have to make it myself? <sighs> Alright, gotta figure this out. How? How are we gonna figure this out? We've got nowhere to go. Unless. Can I jump over? <laughs> no. Right, so that means uh, one of the locked doors maybe can use a USB flash drive to get into it. Was there a locked door up there? No, there was not. Let's go back down to the bottom. That was not a good sound. Uh, this door here, security locked door. Ah, I didn't notice you were free slot. Can I, can I have the flash drive back? No? Okay. I didn't want it anyway. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that there. I see it. I see it. Not hiding from me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see. I see. Come on, you're embarrassing yourself. There's stuff down there that I missed. A herb. And the door though. Oh ho ho. Scientist dying message. It's happened. Our worst case scenario. 
the T virus has somehow leaked under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects, and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls. But I'd better find a way to get some samples while the culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. I agree, it's the least you can do. Now, what have we here? Gunpowder, laptop, another dead scientist. Not mutated though. Not zombified. You haven't got anything. Where are ah, there's a little box here? What have you for me? Some acid rounds. Um so there's more here still. Oh, what's this? Red herb. Combine it with the green herb. You will know it makes sense. And is that everything now here? Yep. Hey, what's that? What's next door there? What, what, what did I miss in here? Oh, shotgun shells. I might as well use one of them herbs. Uh -huh, and there's more here still. Oh, I know what I can do here. Ah ha 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 ha. Right, it's clear. Inventory and management at its finest. Oh, there's eight now. This must be what powers it. Oh, hello. Oh no, it was what had eight. Oh, it was that the magnet. Can you can you stay still? So much gonna happen, so let's open the box first. First aid spray. Okay. Let's do it. on the left. Mr. X on the right. These are tyrants. Yep. Oh, they, they didn't turn out well, though, did they? Oh, no, did the hunters. Jesus. That one out. Is that this where right they're there. made? This one has little tiny legs. grown. I thought it was that one. None of them guys look Ah, <laughs> uh, you poor thing. Oh, I'm missing something out of there. What am I missing? What didn't I pick up? Ah. Explosive B and explosive A make flames. 
sure in the map. It's only flames right now. Guys aren't really that bothered. Ah, let's try the acid. Let this work. There you are. I was waiting for you. I wonder where you went. Alright, now what's in the box? Ah, got an explosive B, I can make more acid rounds. Perfect. in the head trick. And what's this? What's this explosive A? Eh? I've got any explosive A eh, to mix it with. I do. I do. I want to combine it. I want to combine them with those. I might discard that one explosive. No, no, I won't. No, that's not on. What are these? Foul creatures. Liquid filled test tube. Where's that gotta go? Hmm. I'll get rid of that. Yeah. I don't want to do those are running back around again. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Oh look. Oh Mega Man poster. And there's Toy Uncle. He actually looks like Mega Man now that I think about it. With the poster on the side there. Anyway, let's read this note. Expression of concern. Cello, uh, Cello, Senior Fellow Dr. Frank. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must empathetically state my disapproval of the shift away from established umbrella policy by turning to the use of parasites who are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is a sort of folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you're already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the Forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, PhD. So it's called the Nemesis? Yes, it is. It's called the Nemesis. Um, but it was pointless going here, because... <coughs> oh no, we got the... test tube. Now we got to head back. Go 
get back to the Hopefully, all of them remain in their cages and continue to do so. Although, I've got a feeling. Got the acid rounds, just in case. <laughs> I knew it. my magnum and my um, I'm gonna have to switch explosive rounds <laughs> just because I've got nothing else Like the plant life ones in Resident Evil 2 that came back to life. Right now, where am I going? Uh, the stairs. Sure that I missed something in here to pick up. Because it's red. What? I heard you, Charlie, but I don't see you. Using a machine, then, right? Come on, Jill, get that vaccine. Unauthorized materials detected. Either I've got this wrong or I'm missing a step. Well, what step are we missing? Ah, lab one. How the hell do we get there? How the bloody hell am I to get there? I've been there. Is that that? And then I have been in there. And then is, has it got its own map? No. I don't understand then where that is. Seems like it's there. Uh, where to go. But I don't know. Oh wait, yeah, I didn't come up here. I went back down and then in there. That's right.
prove to some. Oh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this with the vaccine. Haha. <laughs> Get back. Weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would really, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the administration and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weapon authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high reasonable abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They've been, they been appearing with regularity, but the specific causes must have been determined. The astonishing rate of these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure was to occur within our facility, we would be woefully unprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the payload be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and processing manager, Gabriella. What is that there? Gunpowder. We got more gunpowder back in the box, I think. Got everything. Now let's go through here. And where is here? Oh. There you are. I need this handgun ammo. Why can't I not put it in there? There's nothing I can discard. I can discard the gunpowder. That is only 15 bullets. Either way. I won't be coming back that way. And I'll go back to the incubation lab. Not the incubation lab, the... Whatever that is. The... I'm gonna call it... The cure room. Room. Go there. We'll follow the correct process this time. Pad vibrated. Support the slide noise. Hit something. Is a foot. Right. We got a slot. Materials detected. Say what? Well, how in the. I'm confused. Some have not been there, apparently. Oh, here. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Do I have to combine these two? Ah! Okay. I'm on it. I got it. It's cool. Wait, what? I didn't... I said I was like, it was just... Uh, you can create a portrait lesson. Blah, blah, blah. That doesn't tell me how. Ooh. Just <laughs> uh, let's have a try again. All in the 50, I'm guessing.
How do I get that in the green? Yes! Mid high low. I had no idea what was going to end in that way, it was so simple to complete that. exciting. We've got the vaccine. <laughs> Nemesis is hot on our heels. But unfortunately I'm going to have to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. And until the next time, stay safe, wash your hands, and stay at home. Goodbye.